Hi guys, this is Rose from a Catholic homeschooling family and it is October, I mean, sorry, September 30th, Monday, 434 p.m. and we are, I'm just going to check that the, I'm just checking that it's recording because of the, it's so bright, I can't really see the, the dialer, I mean the timer or whatever, but yeah, it's, um, the last day of September and tomorrow is October. It's Halloween month. Yay, we're excited about that. I I am sitting here in the like um, auto center parking area for uh, Walmart because my husband is dropping off his car so we can get an oil change. Then we're gonna go run errands. I just dropped off my older children at the Boys and Girls Club. You know, I like to drop them off there so they can socialize since we do homeschool. That is a great way for them to socialize. I drop them off almost every day, uh, except for Tuesdays and sometimes Fridays. Usually because um, on Fridays we do stuff, you know, hang out or go do move to the movies or have people come over or whatever. We just... You know, Fridays is just one of those days. Then on Tuesdays, my daughter does have ballet, and so we, uh, it's, it's, it's difficult for me to be going back and forth. Now, my son was doing basketball, but he doesn't want to continue basketball, and so we're not sure what's going to happen with that. But, uh, basketball was after the, the Boys and Girls Club, so, I don't know. We're just trying, to, we're just trying to, you know, see if we're going to put that into our schedule or not again. Um, he doesn't want to, but my husband and I kind of want him to. But moving on. No, it's getting so difficult for me to make videos. I am, I am, so I am, on Thursday, I'm 20, like I'm about 29 and a half weeks pregnant, right? On Thursday, which is in three days, I'll be 30 weeks. And I feel like my life is just... As, you know, my life is just me cleaning, you know, somewhat homes. I mean, homeschooling my kids, but I only do like two to three hours of homeschool a day. But let's say I do two hours, because that's about average. Um, I do about two hours, and then I just feel like I'm constantly cleaning, cooking, washing dishes, and going to the doctor's office. Babe, do you want to drive? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm going to... Daddy's... The, daddy, the... My husband, the, the father of my children. I'm going to let him drive so I can uh, continue making the video, although he walked away. Ugh. Oh, he's getting water. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to tell you about this water situation. Hold on, I'm gonna put on a seatbelt. Give me your thing. Okay. I help you, Mama. You help me? Okay, thank you. My husband left again. Yes, we have to wait for daddy. We do have to wait for him. We can't leave daddy. Um, so yeah, all I do, I feel like it's just what I said before, cleaning dishes, homeschool, driving around, dropping kids off, picking kids up, and uh, going to the doctor. That's like my biggest thing, and I'm considered high risk because of my age, but there's nothing wrong, like everything's beautiful everything's perfect like my pregnancy is going amazing uh, except for I'm constantly tired oh that's the other thing I've been having to nap almost every day except for today I didn't have to take a nap because I woke up at 10 in the morning so and it's my husband's day also that we could totally do that um, so, I've been having to go to the doctor all the time because I'm considered high-risk pregnancy and I have a thyroid problem. So, let me just... Sorry, guys. It's hard to hide. Um, so, I have 
three doctors I have to go to. So I have to go to my OBGYN, to the Driscoll Maternal Fetal Medicine, which is like a pregnancy specialist doctor, and to my thyroid doctor. He's not an endocrinologist. He's something else, but it's complicated. He's like a natural something or other. I don't know. But he's a doctor. He used to be an OBGYN. It's a long story. I don't give to it. And so, I have to see three doctors a month, plus labs, plus labs, okay? And that's not taken into consideration that my children get sick. And then I have to take them to their doctor. I have four. So far, right now, I have four that are, you know, walking around. There's always at least one of them getting sick or something happening. Especially as my daughter, since she has asthma and, like, eczema and allergies and stuff like that and so I'm always at the doctor right now I'm about to be 30 weeks so I'm gonna go uh, now my doctor my OBGYN wants to see me every three weeks can you open one of the water for me? okay can you open the water for me this is oh, so, so delicious he threw it he threw it back there some Okay, but can you, I'm making a video game. I can't hold, I can't, I can't hold it. Thank you. Oh, I have to tell you the story about the water. The you, water. No, no, on my video. Mm. Oh my God, I'm so thirsty. Um, so now that I'm going to be 30 weeks, I have an appointment. My doctor already, my OBGYN already wants to start seeing me every 30 weeks. And... The maternal fetal medicine, which is like the specialist for high-risk pregnancy people, they say that, so I just saw them last week, so they want to see me every three weeks until I turn 36 weeks. So I just saw them last week, so I have to see them again in two weeks, which I think will be like 32, 33 weeks, no, no, 33 weeks, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll be about to turn 33 weeks. Like, I'll be like 32 and a half weeks or something like that. Or something like that. To that place that you told me that you, that they told you that there might be cheap inflatables. And then, uh, so, my, no? Okay. Go to the bank. Uh, yeah, they're going to start seeing me every... No, it's just a general 40% of well, that's good. Yeah, let's go. So they wanted to start seeing me every, some, every like, uh, right now they're going to start seeing me every, every three weeks. And then once I turn 36 weeks, they're going to start seeing me, like, starting at the 36 weeks every week. And my OBG also wants to see me every single week at 36 weeks and so I think I'm gonna have like one doctor's appointment with my OB one week and then the following week with the maternal fetal medicine and then two appointments two doctor visits every week until I deliver starting at the 36th week and then like right between now the my almost 30th week until like the 35th week I think I have like two appointments that's not, that's kind of just those doctors. I also have to go to my thyroid doctor every month. And at some point, I still have to see, I, I just saw him like two weeks ago and I have to see him again like in two weeks. That mean, and that also, those are just the appointments. I also have to be going in for labs all the time, like my thyroid lab, um, and you know, all the labs that are included in pregnancy. Um, like the high, the the sugar, Do the sugar. My. Here? Do you know? Uh, so I think I saw. Yeah, I saw them on the online. It's the sugar duck, the diabetes test, the I don't know, all these weird tests, the genetic testing. I did two genetic, different genetic testings. I don't know why. Um and. 
don't know. Iron and a whole bunch of stuff that they're constantly Mommy, checking me for. But I'm having an amazing pregnancy. Like, my blood pressure is awesome. I was low, but they recently checked and said it was good. My uh, sugar is pretty good. It's on the low end. But they made me do the three hour one for no reason. I didn't, I, they skipped the one hour one for me because they said it was like high risk. Because I'm high risk, they automatically have to do the three hour one. It was ridiculous. It was super low. Like, super, super low. My sugar is super low. Um, then, uh, so my sugar is amazing. My blood pressure is amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And my, my uh, amniotic fluid is perfect. It's like, it's not perfect, right? But it's like very good. I, they told me, I think that the normal range is between five and 24 and I'm at a 17. So I'm like, um, like right in the middle. So I have like the most average perfect amount of amniotic fluid. The baby is measuring like at the 50th percentile. Everything looks really well. Like it looks perfect. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of feel like I'm going to all these doctor visits for nothing because everything's going so well. But I mean, I guess it's better safe than sorry. We're here at Michael's. I'm gonna cut this video off for today and then I will can make another video of everything else. Of not everything else. The other two, the other two topics I have to talk about is the water issue that we're having in Laredo and Halloween. Alright guys, at this time I'd like to thank you for watching a Catholic homeschooling family. God bless you. Bye-bye.